Today's show at Technet Edge uh, in TechEd Berlin. Hi. <laughs> We're this is here Thomas. with Thomas. Hey. <laughs> Thomas, tell everybody what you do. Uh, my name is Thomas Demmel. I'm a program manager in the IIS team. So we are the web server. <laughs> you're the web. I'm the web server. And you're in your home country. Yes, actually, I just came up here, flew on the Autobahn two hours, <laughs> 200 miles. <laughs> with, with the pedal on the floor, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excellent. So we're talking a little bit about IIS, because mm -hmm. this is the big Windows Server launch party here at yep. Tech at Berlin. And IIS 7.5 is a big part of that. Mm -hmm. And I understand that outside of some of the stuff that we shipped uh, in the Windows Server 2008 R2 box, he's working on some pretty cool extensions over there. And you might have a little bit of an announcement to make with us today. Oh, yeah. We are shipping the application request router 2.0 today. Okay. Is it today? It is today. OK. <laughs> oh, well, it's the time zone not, shift. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so. Uh, about two years ago, the IS team made a pretty dramatic shift from shipping just w within Windows to shipping a lot of stuff out of band. Because with the IS7 platform, we shipped a very extensible um, Windows server that allows us to plug in a lot of new stuff that we just couldn't ship when we just shipped in Windows. Because, I mean, the release cycles of Windows are, are a little longer than we would like in the web okay. space. So I, I understand application request routing has, has kind of been out there in one, one form or another. Mm -hmm. you, you're now officially, it's an official released version now at this point, is that? Well, it's the version 2.0 that okay. we already shipped. We shipped version 1.0, and just to explain, I guess you asked me a little later, but it's a, it's a level, seven, level 7 load balancer okay. that allows you to make routing decisions to backend machines uh, based on HTTP request data like the URL, headers, server variables, and stuff like this. And it has health monitoring and all kinds of stuff. And uh, we shipped it a couple of months ago, the version 1.0. But now on TechEd, we are shipping 2.0, which has other nice improvements, like uh, the support for uh, uh, disk cache. Oh, so okay. you, can, you can store a lot of your stuff that uh, the load balancer requests frequently in uh, on the disk and you can also that also gives us a, a, a very nice uh, advantage in a CDN environment so content distribution networks oh, wow. where you have hierarchical cache uh, cache structures and stuff like that so you can basically look at something and go hey look this particular request is asking for this type of data go yeah. get it for, from this cache location or go get it from this other yeah. location here yeah and you can make these decisions based on on the, the request data so you can say uh, if an ASP.NET request comes in, go to the backend machine, all static files are served from the, the front-end cache. Or uh, you can do host-based routing. You can say you can route a, a particular host name to a particular backend server. And then all requests to this host name always go to the server. So you can basically load balance across an array of servers. Or we have client-based affinity and all stuff like that. So Whenever a particular cookie comes in, it goes to, or a particular user comes in, you go to a particular machine. So you can basically stick a user to a particular machine. That's very which cool. is, I mean, there are so many scenarios that you can enable. I mean, it's, it's hard uh, to call one out. If I, if you ask me to call one What's out, your I favorite? would call. Come on, let the people I, know. <laughs> I would call out uh, live smooth uh, streaming. That's also something we announce here. When you do, when you stream media from live events like here from TechEd or the Olympics, the Winter Olympics are coming up, and NBC is actually streaming based on Silverlight technology and and uh, live smooth streaming. When you do that, usually because it's live, you need to uh, you need a lot of backend servers that have that are media servers actually, uh, because. Every request basically has to go to the back end, to so these origin servers, we call them. With ARR and live smooth streaming, what we can do is actually, you only need one or two uh, back end origin servers, and all the front ends can be ARR, uh, and you can basically, and ARR is just HTTP infrastructure. There's no special media server that you need to install. It's just your regular cache, um, uh, HTTP cache infrastructure then that you can use to basically uh, stream a live event and 
today, today streaming events, you need a ton of special purpose servers, and now you can do all with a regular HTTP streaming infrastructure, or uh, caching infrastructure. Along with ARR and yeah. ISP. And of course, locally distributed. So here in Germany, you would go to a, to a local server, and you would get the cached uh, fragment, HTTP fragments from uh, a live event, which is pretty cool. That is very cool, especially with the Olympics coming up and, yep. the, and the big NBC. Thing. We are also streaming uh, the Sunday night game on NBC, uh, the NFL. That's just football, probably not that's as my heart. <laughs> Football's in my heart. Yeah, <laughs> and you can uh, specify different camera angles and stuff like this. Uh, stuff that you don't even get on the TV, but you get it with uh, live smooth streaming. So that's so, it's pretty cool technology. So lots of good extension stuff coming out of the IIS mm -hmm. team. Where can people go to get more information about IIS, and particularly ARR and the extensions that you have? Uh, www.iis.net slash extensions is the place to go. And where we basically have all our extensions. And uh, in, in general, for any IIS questions, www.iis.net. Excellent. Thomas, thank you for taking some time out. I think no there's problem. a big celebration here uh, for the Berlin Wall, so let's uh, head on out to that. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thanks.